everyone, I'm Kelly, um, and I'm a solution consultant with Echolocity. And today I wanted to take a couple minutes to take you through some examples of common dashboards that we recommend and we build within our project solutions in Smartsheet. So I have a demo environment up here on the screen and I'm gonna walk you through a couple of project dashboard examples. So this first one is um, a core kind of project dashboard component within you know, what we like to call a project toolkit, a set of resources that a project manager uses to manage their project. And this project dashboard is really targeted towards um, the project team audience and the project manager specifically. Um, it's a more uh, tactical dashboard and pretty detailed dashboard, right? So it's gonna give some high level information at the top, right? To, um, target and identify what project are we looking at? Um, how much progress have we made? Who are the stakeholders? What's the overall health and project status update? And then as we, you know, scroll below the fold and look down, we have some higher level metrics, you know, what are our crate items? How many open tasks do we have? Our task health? Um, then we get into project roadmap and open milestones. And then again, we just keep going down a little bit more and more into the details. So calls to action, that's really important for managing the project team. Are there any past due tasks that we need to take a look at and recast or mark off as complete or understand why they're not getting done on time? Are there any critical or high priority crate items that are pressing that we need to address? Um, what are our at-risk tasks? Maybe they're not past due, but maybe they're at risk for getting completed on time. What do we? What support does the team member need um, in order to get that completed and keep the project on track? Um, also, in flight tasks, what's coming up next in the next two weeks, and open tasks by assign to. So, as you can see, it's it's um, uh, lower level has some high level data, but then we get into some more details, some tactical information to be able to have those conversations that are needed with the project team to move the project forward. Another use case for a dashboard would be what we often call a project status dashboard. Now, the project status dashboard, there's a lot of different flavors that this can look like, but the primary goal of this one would be for the audience of project stakeholders, right? So maybe it's business stakeholders that are um, invested in the outcome of the project. It's impacting that specific um, or a specific department, or maybe it's a set of managers or directors that have team members that are contributing to the project, um, right? Audience is a little bit more vast. Now this audience, they might not need to get into the tactical details. They don't necessarily need to know every single task that's due in the next two weeks or um, you know, just open tasks by assign to, um, they really just need more high level data. So this is an example, um, that it, it just provides a quick snippet of information, right? What's the progress on the project? What's the status and the health? What's the current high level schedule? Um, what are past due tasks that they maybe need to be aware of that their teams are supposed to be contributing and any critical and high priority items. Now, again, this is just one example. It's essentially a pared down version of the project dashboard. It has some of the same information, but doesn't go as into detail. Um, another um, flavor that we've done of this before is where the project manager has the opportunity to select what items, um, or what specific tasks or create items get highlighted on the status dashboard, right? It's really the project manager's responsibility a lot of times to determine what content is specifically important to the audience that is looking at this, or what information do they need to share that is gonna support decisions being made, actions being taken to continue to help move the project forward. So this is just one example, but as I as I mentioned, there's a few different flavors that you could do of this. But again, the really the main message here is that we're modifying the information for the specific audience and making sure that the information is relevant for them and it's gonna drive the action that you need them to take um, to support the project. The next dashboard example I wanted to show is um, what you could call a my work dashboard, or sometimes we call it a, a task stat, a my task dashboard, or a current user dashboard. So um, you may or may not be familiar with the functionality in Smartsheet to filter um, data down by in, a, in an assigned to column. If a user is logged in, you can log, you can filter down to the current user that's logged in. So. I look at this dashboard, I'm gonna see my tasks. You look at this dashboard, you're gonna see your tasks. So this would be a place for um, you know, a team member within an organization who's maybe working on multiple projects to be able to see all their tasks across all the projects that they're 
assigned to, right? They can see any past due tasks across multiple. You can see project alpha and project beta are on this list. Um, you can see high and critical crate items. You can see due soon, right? So this is something that I might go to as my, you know, one-stop shop um, for all the things that I have on my plate that I need to accomplish. And the last one that I want to share with you is similar to the last one, but this is a project manager dashboard. Now, really with a project manager, you're going to be looking at really all these dashboards, right? You're going to be managing the project dashboard for your tactical conversations. You're going to be managing the project status dashboard for your stakeholder conversations. But then for you too, as a project manager, you may want a place where you can just see all your projects in one place. You know, what are all the projects I have assigned to me and what status are they? What is the health that I have? Then I can click into the report and easily update the health for each of my projects. Um, maybe I wanna see past due tasks across all of my projects so I don't have to go into each individual project dashboard to see that as well as in progress tasks, right? So this one is a little bit more tactical in nature as well, except rather than again, needing to go into each individual project dashboard, I can go to one dashboard and see everything I need in one view. So rounding this out, a really important message here is that it's critical to consider what audiences need to see data in different ways when you're building a project solution within Smartsheet. These are four dashboard examples that we like to use with our clients and use often, um, but we'll customize to their specific needs um, in addition to any roll up portfolio dashboard and program reporting that might be needed. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to go um, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, follow us on LinkedIn so you can stay up to date on more tips and tricks that we share. Thanks again.